the Geneva Double Curtain Training System for Grapevines, Grape Video 16. This presentation assumes a familiarity with the grapevine terminology presented in grapevine videos 1 through 5. The Geneva Double Curtain Training System is named that because there are two canopies or curtains, if you will, divided horizontally at the top of the trellis as shown here. These two parallel wires are supported by arms from the line posts and they're about 40 inches apart. So we would call this a horizontally divided canopy and that is the reasoning behind the name double curtain. Here's a picture of it in reality and you can see how the grapevine trunks are in a single plane but then the arms are stretched out to the left and right of the center of that trellis area onto two parallel fruiting wires. The Geneva part of the name Geneva Double Curtain is related to the Geneva Agricultural Experiment Station which is part of Cornell University in Geneva, New York. And the viticulturalist who developed this system is Professor Nelson Schallis, shown here. Professor Schallis was one of the all-time great viticulturalists and was very, very astute in matters of the performance of a grapevine, always analyzing, always considering the best way to grow a grapevine. Here he is bent over looking at some leaf area from a nutritional deficiency I, I recall. But when you walked into a vineyard with Professor Schallis, you were in for an education. And it was always that way, every time. He was very analytical every time he stepped into a vineyard and it was a wonderful experience that everyone who joined him ultimately appreciated. Here he is at a meeting of what we used to call the field men. These are growers, these are people from wineries in the Finger Lakes. And when Professor Schallis would go in the vineyard, he would immediately start analyzing. Here it looks like they're measuring the height of the trellis. Uh, to discuss probably how much canopy leaf area would develop on these vines. Uh, he was so insightful. It could be painful to walk down the row with him because he would always quiz you on so many details uh, that were going through his mind. But you always came away from it realizing that you had learned from Professor Schallis. And he is the one who devised the Geneva, for Geneva, New York, the Geneva Double Curtain Training System. Here's one last picture. And I can appreciate uh, Professor Shaw is standing there, and I'm going to guess that he's telling the grower here, why is your trellis only five feet tall? Why don't you make it taller so you can get more leaf area and more productivity out of your vineyard? He never walked down a vineyard row, but what he was analyzing the characteristics of the vines. So let's talk about the advantages of the Geneva Double Curtain training system. And let's just simplify the name Geneva Double Curtain, and we'll just call it GDC, as is often the case uh, when we talk about it in the industry. So first of all, the GDC training system can maximize functional leaf area per acre of vineyard. And what do we mean by that? Well, here is a very poor quality old black and white picture. And I think either Trini Jordan 
or Gail Smith took this picture several decades ago. And what I want to contrast this photo with is the next one, because this is a standard picture of a standard vineyard with maybe nine foot row spacings. Now let's look at it when it is trained with Geneva double curtain. Wow, look at that. That's a sea of grapevine foliage, of grapevine canopy. And it is intercepting the sunlight so very efficiently compared to the standard trellis. You can see just in the lower part of the picture uh, a set of the GDC cross arms. And this is the start of why GDC training is so very productive because it displays the maximum amount of canopy uh, that is possible in a cool climate environment. Here's a photo, I think, in western New York, looking down the row, looking down the middle of a GDC train row and these are Delaware grapevines and just just magnificent display of grapevine canopy with the efficiency of the GDC training system. Well a second advantage of GDC training is that the fruit is well exposed to sunlight. Sure that's because the fruit zones are on those wires right at the top of the trellis and that affords the fruit there to be well exposed to the sunlight for maturation. A third advantage of GDC is that it can convert large grapevines into large yields of quality fruit. Not only does that renewal zone and fruiting zone at the top of the trellis mature fruit well but it matures the fruiting buds for the next year well so they're very fruitful and they can produce large crops because of the fruitful buds at the top of the trellis and the maturation of the quality of the fruit is assured because we have a large amount of leaf canopy to ripen the fruit. And the fourth advantage of GDC is that it is mechanizable. Oh yes indeed, because it is so orderly in where it places the fruit. Here's an example of that. This is a, a rather modest uh, hedging machine going down a row and because the GDC is so orderly this machine can run right alongside that fruiting wire without any problem. The arrow is pointing to a machine that will rotate and pull the canes down off of the fruiting wires before they are pruned. And so this is a two-step operation. We have gadgets that prune and gadgets that do cane positioning in anticipation of the pruning on these GDC vines. Well, you would think with all those advantages that GDC would be utilized far and wide, but that's not the case because there are a number of disadvantages, unfortunately, to this very viticulturally elegant training system. And the first disadvantage is that it requires the construction of a complex trellis. Here is another picture showing GDC training and it takes a fair amount of work to not only put in those line posts but then to bolt the cross arms to those posts and to install the extra uh, wires required for GDC. So it, it takes a fair amount of extra work to get vines up and going on GDC training. Well, a second disadvantage of GDC training 
is that it requires specialized equipment. If we go back and look at this slide, this is just the start of the special equipment needed for GDC training. The post pounder needed to pound these posts after you have a three-dimensional trellis is entirely different than that used for a normal trellis. The harvester that's used for GDC training needs to have a special modified picking head that can accommodate GDC training in order to work in such a vineyard. And there are just enough differences that it is not easy for a grower to have a little bit of GDC training system while farming other types of training systems because he has to move back and forth um, among different types of equipment at times. So that that holds people back from embracing GDC when you need a fair amount of specialized equipment. Well, a third disadvantage of GDC training is that it does require shoe positioning without doubt. Without shoe positioning, the advantages of increased yield, of increased fruit quality with those larger yields just will not happen unless the vines are shoe positioned. And until very recent times, the quality of shoe positioning being done mechanically has, has been a difficulty. So many people would have to do this manually and that was a huge undertaking and a great cost. A fourth disadvantage, it requires large vines. If you start out with small vines, you will drive those small vines down to smaller vines. You must have large, robust vines to make this system work, and that's uh, the reality of GDC training. And then as we uh, mentioned, the mandatory shoe positioning that you must do with GDC tends to devigorate vines. And so you may start out with large vines, and if you're not careful, you might overcrop them. You might drive the vine size down. So there's a struggle at times to maintain adequate vine size to use with GDC training. And a sixth disadvantage is that it's really not suitable for vines that experience frequent winter injury. Well, if we go back to this photo, this is exactly the case in this vineyard that it experienced severe winter injury, and it looks like it experiences severe winter injury frequently because we don't have many big old trunks. It's mostly keep bringing up new stuff from the ground, trying to fill in the trellis, and it can take two to three years to bring a vine back from the ground and get it fully trained out these parallel fruiting wires up high in the trellis and by then you might have another episode of winter injury and start all over again. So you really need hardy vines, big vines to make GDC work. And a seventh disadvantage is that the trellis maintenance is considerably more difficult than with a standard trellis. I had one grower tell me that in the time it takes him to replace a line post with GDC, it is so complicated having to uh, take the bolts out for the cross arms and so forth, put the post in. He can replace seven or eight posts in a standard trellis and at the same time he can do just one with GDC. And that gets to be frustrating when you're trying to make time in the spring and repair trellis and do a lot of other things. Well, that's the story of Geneva Double Curtain Training. So in summary, the advantages of GDC are that it can maximize functional leaf area per acre of vineyard, that fruit is well exposed to sunlight with GDC, that it can convert large grapevines into large yields of quality fruit, and that it's mechanizable. 
The disadvantages of GDC include that it requires the construction of a complex trellis, that it requires specialized equipment to use GDC, that it does absolutely require shoe positioning to make this training system work, that it requires large vines, mandatory shoe positioning devigorates vines, making it all the more difficult to maintain adequate vine size. And number six, it's not suitable for vines that experience frequent winter injury. Lastly, trellis maintenance is considerably more difficult than with a standard trellis. Let's go back to Professor Shawless who so eloquently put together the components of Geneva Double Curtain. And when the conditions are right and when growers commit to the investment to establish and to farm GDC with the right equipment, it works extremely well. And there are places where extensive acreages of GDC are working extremely well. It just doesn't seem to fit the small grower who would have a small amount of this training system. I'm reminded of Professor Shalas's old dear friend, Cesare Intrieri from the University of Bologna, who is really the Italian counterpart of Professor Shalas in the United States. And Professor Intrieri is the one who is so responsible for the widespread use of GDC training in Italy. But not only that training, several other elegant systems. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Uh, this is what I would call the liar system that we'll talk about in an upcoming video. And look at this. This is a quadra lateral uh, training system that Professor Intrieri has at the University of Bologna. It's divided horizontally and vertically. Wow, amazing. So if you're into multi-dimensional, three-dimensional training systems, you'll also want to look up the work of uh, Professor Intrieri at the University of Bologna. He's done some wonderful work there. Well, we thank you for your attention. We hope this is helpful to you. And as always, until next time, happy grape growing.